Hello again. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I am back with a really quick video. Our family is in town, and one of the things I've been making lately is homemade pimento cheese. Lots of people make it. Just decided to stop buying it due to cost, so I'm going to throw some together for them to take home. This is their last day with us, and so they enjoy it, so I wanted to make it. I thought I'd get on here real quick, do a quick video, and show you guys how I put this together. And it's really simple. It is just three ingredients, and that's it. So let's get into it. So all you need is one jar of mayonnaise. Any brand that you want, it's up to you. This is uh, 30 ounces, so you'll want the 30-ounce jar. And then you're going to do two jars of pimentos you want to make sure that they're diced if you don't have them but you have roasted red peppers which is exactly what this is you can dice them up yourself and then you're going to want two pounds of cheddar cheese i went with the extra sharp just to add in some additional flavor to it but you can use mild it's really whatever you prefer you can also um you can also um, shred it yourself or buy the pre-shredded. It's really up to you. You just want to make sure that you have two pounds of shredded cheese. And all you're going to do is you'll get all this mayonnaise out, which will take just a moment or two to get out. And you're just dumping everything in the bowl and stirring, and that is it. This is the easiest thing. We used to buy pimento cheese all the time. I've looked at various recipes. Um, a gentleman from our church shared this recipe online and um, our church, our former church had a Facebook page, has, excuse me, a Facebook page and he shared it. And I decided to make his and fell in love with it. Not a bunch of fancy seasonings or anything like that. Just really simple ingredients and that's it that go into the pimento cheese. Now you can add in um, ingredients if you want like chopped up jalapenos. Um, you can add in garlic if you want. I like it. Wow, this one does not want to open. Well, let's try it again. Nope, one second. Um, but we just like it this is giving me a hard time here wow oh there we go um we just like it simple if my husband wants it spicy he'll just add in jalapenos in the at the time that he's using it now this is great for eating on crackers my husband and i love to put it in our scrambled eggs it really ha adds great flavor to the scrambled eggs of course melting it on burgers i just did smash burgers the other night on our blackstone and we most just about everybody um had pimento cheese melted on top so in here again i have the one container of mayonnaise which is 30 ounces two jars of pimentos and see if i can see i don't know this one doesn't say the ounce size, but you can see it's a smaller container. I apologize, I don't, I don't see it on here. Um, but you'll want the smaller container of two of them of pimento cheese. So, and then two pounds of cheddar cheese. And all you're going to do is mix it up now and knock some on the tape countertop here. Um, what you will also notice is it's going to seem almost a little runny um, at first, but it all kind of solidify together and it'll be a lot thicker once it has chilled all the way through. So don't let that scare you. The first time I made it, I was concerned by how thin it was. Um, and then it, once it thickened up, I was like, oh, that would make sense. Um, so because you do want that liquid from the pimentos to go in here because that helps infuse more flavor into your pimento cheese and so this is it that is all that you have to do that's it it's so super simple so i'm going to get this in a container and that will be that okay so because they're traveling tomorrow i just have this plastic container to put it in typically i will put ours in mason jars and it will fill uh two quarts um two, uh, two, two quart jars that are the mason um, you can store it in whatever you want i do believe i get a little 
extra beyond the two quarts. It really depends if I'm using pre-shredded or shredded, which is interesting. My husband likes to shred the cheese. I prefer the pre-shredded, but just for ease. And when you have pre-shredded, it actually gives you a greater amount of pimento cheese than if you pre-shred it yourself. So I'm not sure I fully understand considering that they're both two pounds of cheese, but either way, it doesn't matter. So just a little bit of information for you guys. So you know that if you use pre-shredded, you're actually gonna get two quarts plus about a pint extra of, if you put them in mason jars, of pimento cheese. If you shred it yourself, you're just gonna get two quarts. Um, and then there you go clean up my mess which just got a little bit on the countertop and that's it pimento cheese easy as that chill it till it's ready and then enjoy it on a variety of different things again it can be crackers burgers make a pimento, grilled pimento cheese sandwich whatever you want pimento cheese on put it in grits grits are absolutely amazing um, with pimento cheese in them as well. I don't know if you've ever had them, but if you haven't, try them. So good. So thank you guys for joining me for this super quick video, but I just wanted to hop on, do something small, try to get my feet wet again and getting back on YouTube and making more videos for you guys. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a good one. Bye.